Hey everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave. I have a gorgeous card to share with you today. I think it is so pretty and it's really simple and I think, at least I hope, you're gonna love it. I'm using kind of a cool color combination, Melon Mambo Pink Pirouette, Pear Pizzazz, and Old Olive. And it really makes a gorgeous card that's really easy to do. Now I'm using the stamp set touch of blossoms which I just need to pull all of my blocks off of the set so I can show it to you they're all stacked on top um, this is a really beautiful stamp set and it coordinates with a punch which I just love and I love it because it's a flower builder punch um, although that might not be the name I can't remember the name but that's why the supplies will be listed in my blog for all those details as well as the dimensions of my cardstock so this is just such a cool punch because it has all these different shapes all in one punch and then it coordinates of course with all of these gorgeous images from the stamp set so let me show you how I made this card I just love all these things okay sorry I digress now I have to tell you this card is just so pretty and it's so easy. So I'm going to start with a half a sheet of Pear Pizzazz cardstock, which of course I will fold in half. And then I have taken, I think this is called Sparkle, this embossing folder. I've run it through with these two pieces of cardstock, basically half and half of my card, um, but trimmed just a little bit. Uh, like I said, the dimensions of all this will be on my blog. The link is in the description of the video that you're watching. So I've got the top piece adhered, and then I will adhere the bottom piece. Just lined right up. There we go. There is my card base, and I think this is kind of fun. Then I'm going to create a tag using a two by, I want to say this is four and a quarter inches piece of cardstock. This I'm going to use my scallop tag topper punch. So easy. Makes an adorable tag every time. You just need a two inch wide piece of cardstock and then any length that you'd like. All right. Now, the next thing I need is a scrap of Whisper White cardstock. Got a couple pieces right here. And I want to look at my punch just for a second before I start stamping because this will kind of help dictate how I put my pieces in. You can see if I do it like this, I'm going to basically lose everything to the rest of the punch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to trim off a little bit of this and then I can punch just or stamp just here. I want to stamp three of the petals. So I'm going to ink up the larger part in um, Pink Pirouette. That is right. It's only listed on the ink pad, Dina. You can find it. Then the detail image, I will go right over the top in Melon Mambo. Okay, so let me do a couple more of those because like I said, I had three petals. So there's two and three. And then again, the Melon Mambo right over the top. What I like too about this is if it's not lined up perfectly, it looks just fine, which I kind of love. Okay, the other thing I have right here is actually this image. This is probably a flower, but I'm going to stamp it as a um, leafy thing. Okay, now notice there's this little thing sticking out on the rubber. Do you see that? That's like an arrow and it's to help you line it up. So I did the solid one in Pear Pizzazz and then I have the detail in Old Olive right over the top and then that helps you line it up perfectly. And then of course we'll just align it in the punch which is very easy to do and we'll punch that piece out. Okay and of course I'll punch out my petals. So again, I'm going to be careful. Oh, <laughs> I'll be careful which direction I do this. I also need to trim a little bit of this off so that it fits in the punch. Okay, but once I've got it in there, it really is. Oh, we'll do it in the camera view even. 
just for you guys. Okay, so there's one of my petals and here's two. And I think the fun thing about this punch is that you can do any number of combinations of petals, of colors, all kinds of things. The sky is kind of the limit on this one. And I actually, this is the first card I've made with the stamp set, but I am really anxious to play with it some more. And the other thing I kind of like is that it's a punch. I love framelits, but sometimes you just want to sit down and punch and not have to get up to your big shot and put things together. That's just, I'm just saying, sometimes. Okay, of course, punches are limited by the size and whatnot of the image and the complexity, but here we have our three petals. Now, what I'm going to do with each of these is what I always do with petals, and that is kind of wiggle them, and that will give me some dimension. Now, I have to tell you, I have kind of a funny story. So I went to get a massage the other day, and I haven't had a massage since the last time I told you my massage story. Oh my gosh, I have another one. It's kind of embarrassing too. Shh, don't tell anybody. So I don't know if you'll find this to be a little on the TMI side, but I'm kind of not knowing how to handle this. I'm in my massage. Everything is wonderful. I'm totally enjoying it. Clearly I was relaxing and you will not believe what I did. I totally tooted. I was so embarrassed. I'm pretty sure it's one of those things that we will just never ever speak of again and then everything will be right in this world. I hope at least, oh my gosh, I really don't want to find a new massage person because I really like my guy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Why do these things happen? I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to take and stamp the greeting of my card and actually I have a funny story about that too. I stamped this, I don't know what my problem is. I've stamped this greeting like a million times and I keep kind of messing up on it. Let's see how we do here. Well, almost. Um, I practiced stamping this quite a few times. There, that's pretty good. And you can see on, there's another one I'm covering up. Well, first of all, it was totally crooked. And then I just like gobber gooed all over and oh my gosh, I don't know. But I'm just going to trim that off and then we will attach this at the end. But I'm kind of all over the place. I really apologize. Let me get back to this. It's my, my story is killing me still. All right. I'm going to stamp my stem. That's the word. Oh, Lordy. I will stamp my stem in pear pizzazz and look at how awesome that stem. It just looks like it was watercolored on there. Like, like anybody could do it if you don't need skills. Oh, my favorite kind of thing. I will also add the leaf. I have the solid one in pear pizzazz and then the detail in old olive looks so good. Now let me share with you how I did the petals. I'm going to just put a little strip of adhesive, my fast fuse and put one petal and then two petals down and then I'm going to pop the third up right on top but I'm going to use a dimensional for that so that it kind of stays nice and then before I do that though I'm going to take and you know I gotta kind of wiggle this one just like the others so I want three of the five petals to show. So I wiggled three of them. I'm going to tuck the other two underneath here. I have not adhered them yet, but I will. I'll put that petal down right over the top. Again, it's popped up. Then I'm gonna shove a glue dot right under there to hold everything in place. Glue dots truly are amazing. If you don't have them, you need them. I go through a lot glue dots and dimensionals. Oh, okay. So there it is. You can see I have a nice dimensional looking flower. It's not totally flat and smushed. It's gorgeous. Okay. And now I want to place this onto my card, but oh no, first I have to, sorry. I've got to pop up. No, this is the bad one. We'll get rid of that. Here's the good one. My little saying here. I'm going to pop this up, and I think you might like my trick. I place it on my tag, and then I'm just going to trim the excess 
off so it's perfect with the tag. Of course, you can opt to put yours on straight. I mean, it's totally up to you. It's really your choice. There you go. <laughs> now mine's straight too because that's how I roll. And then I'll even trim it so it's straight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, back to my card. Here we go. I will pop this up on my card as well because, you know, I kind of am just like a pop-up queen. Sometimes I just can't help myself, but I love the look. You know, it looks nice. It's classy. And after all, I enjoy making classy cards. All right, so we'll take this, stick it on here. And again, straight is completely optional, but I'm going for it. Last but not least, I'm going to bring out the black of my greeting with some black baker's twine. This is nice, solid colored baker's twine. So I've tied a little bow. I was going to say knot. This is actually a bow. Um, I always tie it right off the roll because then I don't waste any, which is kind of awesome. Then I'm going to take a glue dot. Again, so versatile. I rolled it up like a little glue dot log. And I'll place it on my card. And you almost forgot about my massage story, haven't you? All right. The last thing I'm going to do is, I kind of like this. I like to unfray or, or fray the ends. I guess this would not be unfraying them. It would be fraying them. <laughs> Just for fun. Why not? And there you have it. Isn't that a gorgeous card? Now, if you really wanted to add a little extra something, something, we could throw a little Wink Estella on there because doesn't that make everything better? Yeah, it does. Do, do, do. My photos won't have this Wink Estella because I just thought of it right now and I already took the pictures. I had good light going, so I had to take advantage. Anyway, there you go. Ooh, shimmery. I'll even focus it. Oh, so pretty. Love it. Anyway, I hope you like this card. <laughs> Please go to my blog and check out all the details. And of course, if you need to order this fabulous stuff, I would just be so appreciative if you ordered it through me at the Creativity Cave. I have a great rewards program with all kinds of fantastic perks that I would love to welcome you to. So check it on out at my blog. But again, the link is in the description of this video and you have a fantastic day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.